24. I'm Layla and today's top story highlights our drama department as they prepare for their fall production. Mr. Algy is getting ready to hold auditions for the fall production. We caught up with him a few days ago for more information. Tell us about the show The Night of the Living Dead. So Night of the, of the Living Dead is uh, George Romero's classic uh, zombie apocalypse film and fortunately for us it's actually public domain so when I came upon it I decided that would be really awesome to do during Halloween so uh, I selected it and we're actually having auditions in about a week about a week from this Thursday uh, August 28th and 29th what's the show like so the show is kind of your typical zombie apocalypse film uh, version so the show takes place we start in a cemetery a graveyard and this is where we first see the zombies attack and then we make our way to a farmhouse where a collection of strangers have to kind of figure out what they're going to do how are they going to survive and during this time you have all these zombies eventually more and more zombies start attacking the house and they're having to figure out a way to try to escape and so this is kind of where the story begins and we hear information through the radio of what's happening in the rest of the, of the world and and so it's a story of the zombie apocalypse and whether or not this family will all make it out or not. So I take it the sets will be very horror themed. So to some extent, yes, because obviously it's zombie apocalypse. But since most of the show takes place in a old farmhouse, it's uh, probably going to be a, uh, a unit set that is made to look like an old farmhouse. And uh, we actually flip back and forth between the upstairs and the downstairs basement. So that's going to be a fun change. And we also see the cemetery. So although there will be some horror theme, it's going to be, I'm going for more more realistic look. What are some of the parts you'll be trying to feel? So obviously we have the family, right? The group of strangers in the farmhouse. There's several women, several guys, and obviously the zombies, right? We're going to need a lot of zombies. Uh, there's also some sheriff's deputies uh, that come in kind of towards the end. They may or may not be played by uh, the actors portraying the zombies. It just depends on how many people we get involved, how many show up and audition and want to take part. But those are the main characters in the story. So how big will the cast be? Well, the good thing about doing a show with a lot of zombies is it can pretty much be as large as we can make it. So if a lot of people show up, well, you know, unless there's just something odd about you, which we love anyway, we're going to need a bunch of zombies. So even if you're not trying to get like a leading role or even a supporting role, if you just want to show up, be involved and be a zombie or a sheriff's deputy or someone like that, we have room for expansion. So if we only get 10, well, we'll probably just have 10. If we get 30, we'll have 30. So it's kind of flexible that way. If students are interested in trying out, what do they need to do? So if you're interested in learning more, you can contact me or sh show up to auditions. There will be a lot of information there at auditions, but I'm also going to put some uh, 
flyers around uh, to kind of remind people of the upcoming audition. And back on my call board, back in the theater hallway right outside my door, I'll also have a character list with a summary of each character. So you're welcome to come down, read that, check and see which character you may be interested in portraying. If you just want to be a zombie, that's easy. But uh, I'll have those up either today or tomorrow, hopefully. The volleyball team heads to Center Hill today for an away game against the Mustangs. Tell us about the game tonight. Um, tonight we're going across the county for the first time to Center Hill. We haven't played them in a while. Um, I heard they're pretty good, but we've been practicing all summer, all week, and I think we're tired. How do you choose your friends? Um, I choose them by see like if they hang with too many folks, you know, or too messy, you know, or if they, you know, dependable. Who has the funniest laugh? You got the funniest laugh. If you couldn't get hurt, what would you rather do? Skydive or climb my Everest? Um, I want to skydive. What's your favorite music video? Um, my favorite music video probably um Bees and Trap by Nicki Minaj when uh two chains of dance behind her. What do you most wish your parents will allow you to do? I wish they would let me um, go out the country by myself. Seniors, it's time to pay your senior fee. One of the events that seniors look forward to most is the senior breakfast. This year's senior breakfast is going to be one of the best ever. The school will be bringing in a DJ for a straight up party. Seniors will dress up, take pictures, eat breakfast, and hang out. You're not going to want to miss it. You can pay your fee to Mrs. Smith in C4 or Ms. Patberg during lunch. As the school year gets underway, we wanted to remind students of the pitfalls of social media and good practices to follow online. Today, we'll talk about scam links. We're talking about social media hazards. Today, let's take a look at malicious links. Malicious links are sites that attempt to install malware, which is anything that disrupts your computer operation, gains personal data, and gains access to the machine onto your device. Here are some tactics to prevent this threat. Use internet security software. Keep that software updated. Don't open suspicious emails. Close the tab if a website seems off or ask to install something. And check out URLs before clicking. This week's feature vocabulary words are erode, evolution, and exert. Erode. Remove soil or rock, become ground down or deteriorate. Evolution a process in which something passes by degrees to a different stage, especially a more advanced or mature stage. Exert. Put to use, make a great effort at a mental or physical level. Tabletop Club is back in session. Students interested in pen and paper role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and board games like Catan need to see Mr. McGowan in B8 or Mr. Gladwell in F5 for membership information and meeting dates. Teachers, be sure and drop us the announcements and school information you want featured on EVTV at least two days before you need it to air. You can submit announcements in the teacher's work area next to the mailboxes. It's time to purchase your school issue device for the year. Students can take care of the fee and device pickup in the library each morning before you head to first block. You can also pick up your device during all four lunches. Students, if you drive to school, you must have a current parking pass. Students who do not purchase the parking pass will have their vehicles towed. You can purchase your parking pass in the library. Students will have two weeks to purchase the parking pass. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.
دست و ف...